Good day dear chess lovers and welcome to another Chess in the Wilderness episode. Today I went for a solo hike and my goal was to reach this high altitude Lake Rapi. It's on the elevation of 3000 meters. Unfortunately the weather deteriorated already, it's starting to rain and the clouds covered Mount Aragat. In the morning when the sky was clear I could distinctly see the mountain and luckily even took some photos. There is one of them, you can enjoy it as well. The view is just amazing. But now, yeah, the clouds covered that wonderful scene. But anyways, yeah, since my chess set is with me, at least we can enjoy a chess puzzle. The following chess puzzle was composed by Tigran Gorgia, first published in 1937. The task is to win with the white pieces. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Uh, well, look, despite huge material advantage, victory is not an easy task. At any moment, this black rook is ready to become a mad rook. He's ready to become a torpedo and chase white king all over the board. For example, if you make a move like e7, then rook f1 check and black rook will announce a perpetual check. That's why we are starting the winning combination with queen e8 check. This queen sacrifice is allowing us to deflect black rook from the f-file and after rook e8 only now we can make use of one of our pawns, d7. Of course not e7, because of rook takes e7, that's why we're playing d7, taking black rook and rook h8. Renewing the threat, the threat is rook h1 check and yeah, we have to be very careful. Bishop h2, blocking the h-file and stopping that rook. Rook g8, renewing the threat, this time rook takes g2 is the threat, bishop g3, rook h8, bishop h4. And now with the staircase movement, white bishop is starting to make a progress and is going all the way up to the 7th rank or to the 8th rank. Now, yeah, 7th rank, because if we move like now rook, g, uh, rook f8, of course we won't win that rook, that will be a stalemate, and in case of rook g8 we will play bishop g7 but what if rook h8 can you find the winning move for what yeah the winning move is bishop c3 it's starting to rain that's why instead of playing rook g8 black is making a stronger move rook f8 and again we have to block the f file bishop f4 rook g8 and king f1 not allowing black to win this pawn with the check Rook f8 attacking the bishop, king e2. Rook g8 attacking the pawn, and now we can make a move like bishop g5, why not? Rook f8, bishop f6. Rook g8, and now it's time to sacrifice the bishop on c3. The puzzle is actually very complex with too many sidelines, and I hope that I didn't make a mistake. We'll check out once again using engine and then we'll publish. But yeah, looks like that I made the right moves. Now, in case of rook takes g2, just king f3, and if rook g3, then king takes g3, this bishop is here, there is no stalemate, and if rook goes back all the way to g8, then let's just make, our, make use of our e pawn and play e7, and yeah, enough is enough, finally white is winning. A very, very interesting reach, I would say, yes, with a puzzle with rich and ingenious ideas. And once again, this puzzle speaks loudly about the creativity of Tigran Gurdjieff. Hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to share with your friends as well. And in the end, let me also sharpen your technical skills. Watch to move and win the game. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. We'll put on my raincoat now and we'll hurry down. That's it for today. Good luck to us, take care.